I just want to put the screws back in, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, these are pretty minor repairs, actually. Um, you know, their memory, hard drives, LCD panels actually just snap out of most laptops. And so, for less than a hundred bucks, um, memory typically you could find for you know 50, 60 bucks for a, a gigabyte, maybe even a two gigabyte SODA module. And that's DDR2, DDR3, whatever the laptop might be using. Hard drives you can typically get 2.5 inch serial AT and parallel AT hard drives for you know less than a hundred bucks. Um, up, you know, into sizes of 250, 300 gigs. Um, LCD, LCD panels, again, it, depending on who you order them from, you can get LCD panels for less than 100 bucks. And once you pull the bevel apart and pull the old LCD panel out, you know, it's a pretty easy replacement. And, you know, it depends. If your laptop's fairly new and not, you know, it's a repair that's not covered by warranty due to abuse or just, you know, something that's outside the warranty, then that can be an economical alternative to purchasing a new laptop. You know, again, you have to kind of, you know, I, I want to make sure I line the pens up and just to show you, I was going to give you, if you can look in there and see how, how those pens are lined up for this parallel ATA EIDE drive. And if there's dust bunnies in there, you want to, you know, maybe blow them out with compressed air um, just to make sure that you get good electrical contact on the pens and the hard drive. So I'm going to pop this back in. This is a good hard drive. And I want to replace the screw. And I'm going to replace the battery. And I'll lock it into place. Go ahead and plug the power supply into the laptop. And now, before I, you know, I, again, on the dead hard drive, obviously I've lost my operating system, and I mean, I could try to do data recovery, but that's a completely different tutorial. So, dead hard drive aside, I'm going to need to install a new operating system. But before I do that, let's make sure, again, let's, let's look at things at the hardware level, the physical level, before we start worrying about software and operating systems. So, I want to go back into the BIOS. So I want to go back into the BIOS, and I want to go over here. And notice, I can see there's my new hard drive, Fujitsu. So it's showing up at the hardware level. And I, I want to make sure that I have an operating system. This, this is an older laptop, so we're not going to do Windows 7 or Vista, but you know, in this case, Windows XP. And set it up to boot. If it's not already configured to do so, Make sure in the BIOS you're set up to boot off the CD-ROM. I'm going to hit F10 to save and exit. And I'll wait for the operating system to boot here. And um, Depending on the operating system, Linux is, is pretty friendly about this, but a lot of times Windows Vista, Windows 7 XP, um, you, know, you may have to repetitively hit the keys to get it to boot off the CD or DVD once it mounts on the drive. And you saw it right there, but sometimes it pops up so quick you can't see it and you wonder why it's not booting off the CD, but just make sure it's set in the BIOS to boot and make sure that you hit the key so it'll boot off the CD. I'm loading Windows XP now and I'll reinstall my operating system, download my drivers, put them on a flash drive, reinstall my drivers and reinstall my software and I'm up and ready to go. Or if you were thoughtful enough to make a ghost image and back your computer up, you can simply restore that hard drive image and not have to go through the pain and agony of reinstalling everything. But either way, that would be a simple laptop repair for a dead hard drive.